Citroën C4 second generation, 2010-2020 years of release. Good day if you are wondering is it worth buying a second generation Citroën C4 and what problems you may encounter during operation, then we are at the right place. So by modern standards the quality of the Citroën C4 paintwork can be considered good. Corrosion resistance is also not bad, however some places are not well protected from the red plaque. On some copies, traces of rust can be found on the front edge of the hood and on the upper frame of the windshield and on the lower edges of the doors. In the latter case, the appearance of rust is facilitated by an unsuccessful water drainage system. Over time, the bottom of the car also begins to demand attention. In our conditions, plastic body parts also suffer. This is especially true of the plastic underbody shields that cover the brake pipes and the fuel filter. The front bumper boot also suffers quite often. Citroën C4 owners also complain about weak body kit brackets in the front of the car. There are enough claims to the plastic caps of the front optics. They are overwritten literally 60-80 thousand kilometers. Less serious trouble with the onset of cold weather, the cables leading to the door handles begin to freeze. The hood lock cable may also fail. On hatchbacks of the first years of production it actively rusts and then completely breaks. For a Golf class car the finishing materials on in Citroen C4 are quite decent. It's a pity that at the same time the wear resistance often leaves much to be desired. By the 100,000 km mark noticeable abrasions are formed on the steering wheel sheath, on the transmission selector cover and on the buttons on the steering wheel. If there is a big driver behind the wheel do not say hello to the seat lateral support rollers. They are noticeably crumpled already to the mark of 18 100,000 km. When buying a used Citroën C4, you should definitely pay attention to the air conditioning radiator. If the previous owner untimely changed the antifreeze, it will most likely be clogged. Due to overheating, the fan speed regulator often fails. The BCM is also a problem. The soldered relays in the block turned out to be quite capricious. In addition, the unit is very sensitive to moisture, otherwise electrical failures and glitches are more likely due to the owners themselves, who for example are trying on their own to replace the monochrome monitor of the multimedia system with a color one or otherwise improve the car. In our market, Citroën C4 with gasoline engines is more common. If you put reliability at the forefront, then it's better to give preference to the proven atmospheric engines with a volume of 1.4 liters 90 horsepower and 1.6 liters 110 horsepower. These power units are devoid of significant drawbacks. As for typical malfunctions, this includes small leaks, failure of the lambda probe and periodic malfunctions in the electronics. There are also no problems with the maintenance and repair of atmospheric engines. In addition to the Citroën C4, they were also installed on the Peugeot 307, so the search for spare parts and craftsmen who are ready to take on repairs will not turn into a problem. The complete opposite of atmospheric engines is a 1.6 liter 125 or 150 horsepower turbocharged power unit of the Prince series. This engine was created by a group of engineers from the Peugeot Citroën company and BMW, but unfortunately the joint work was not entirely successful. The main disadvantage of the turbocharged 1.6 liter engine is the extremely low service life of the timing chain. The mark of 150,000 km is critical for the chain. Very thin oil channels are also notoriously famous. Even for those owners who didn't save on engine oil, they gradually coke, which leads to increased oil consumption. As a result, there are an increased likelihood of failure of phase regulators, which do not like a reduced level of lubrication. The problem is aggravated by an unreliable oil pump. By modern standards, the water pump drive clutch also has an insufficient resource. In general, under an ideal set of circumstances, the resource of the cylinder piston group of a 1.6 liter turbo engine can reach 220 250,000 km. In 2014, the French began to install a three cylinder gasoline turbo engine on the Citroën C4. If only three cylinders do not bother you, then you can take a closer look at a similar option with low mileage. The main disadvantage of a three-cylinder engine is its tendency to coke. In the worst case, for this reason the crankshaft liners can rotate. Every 
100,000 kilometers, you will have to revise the cylinder head gasket. The drive of the gas distribution mechanism is also considered to be relatively problematic on this power unit. Citroen engineers applied a system in which the timing belt, as on the Ford EcoBoost series engines, passes through a kind of oil bath. Unfortunately, in such conditions, the belt life is very difficult to predict. Another feature, due to the specific timing device, beltware products quickly clog the oil pump. It's worth considering that the three-cylinder engine is devoid of hydraulic lifters. It will be necessary to adjust the thermal clearances of the valves every 80-100 thousand kilometers. <coughs> Diesel Citroen C4 in our secondary market are rare. Engines 1.6 HDDI 92 or 110 horsepower and 2.0 150 horsepower do not tolerate low-quality fuel. In our conditions, expensive fuel equipment fails too quickly. In addition, due to diesel fuel of inadequate quality, the particulate filter quickly clogs up and the EGR valve is coked. In a 1.6-liter engine, the ceiling washers under the injectors are not distinguished by long service life. The differential pressure sensor is also considered to be a weak point. In a 2-liter diesel engine, the chain that connects the camshafts in the timing gear requires special attention. The service life of a chain rarely exceeds 120-150 thousand kilometers. In addition, the 2-liter engine turned out to be very picky, not only to the quality of the fuel, but also to the quality of the lubricant. The use of the, not the most expensive oil leads to accelerated wear of the hydraulic lifters. From time to time, the owners pay attention to the electrical wiring located in the engine compartment, which is corny with age. More often than others, in our secondary market there are Citroën C4 with a 5-speed manual transmission of the BE4 series. Much less often copies with a 6-speed mechanics, which were equipped with cars with diesel engines. Both mechanical boxes do not cause serious problems. Their only weak point is the release bearing. In the best case, it will last only 100,000 km. As for the clutch itself, its replacement will be required after a run of 150,000 km. By the mark of 200,000 km, most cars require replacement of synchronizers and the cable shift drive. The latter tends to sour. The automatic 4-speed transmission of the EAL4 series unfortunately cannot boast of the same reliability, and if you can still put up with the slowness of the box itself, you will not be able to ignore its tendency to overheat. Those owners who are not ready for their money to install an additional radiator for cooling the box should be prepared for the Citroen C4 automatic machine to work regularly in emergency mode due to overheating. Naturally, overheating accelerates the wear of solenoids, torque converter blocking and other transmission elements. Citroen C4 owners also complain about problems with the activator. An automatic transmission with six steps is considered less capricious, but it will periodically demand attention. Those owners who prefer an active driving style should be ready to replace the torque converter after a run of 150,000 km. With careful driving, the torque converter can last up to 200,000 km. It's extremely important to understand that the 6-speed automatic doesn't tolerate savings in maintenance. If you do not change the transmission fluid for a long time, friction dust will inevitably clog the channels of the valve body and its solenoids. As a result, the oil pressure in the system will become noticeably low lower, which will lead to accelerated wear of the clutch pack, brake band and oil pump. However, practice has shown that when servicing a 6-speed automatic every 60,000 km, it can easily serve up to 200 to 150,000 km. Structurally, the suspension of the Citroën C4 is very simple. The McPherson scheme, traditional for Golf class cars, is used at the front and the torsion beam at the back. The traditional weak link in the suspension is stabilizers, which will have to be changed every 40-50,000 km. The rear silent block of the front arm also has a relatively small resource. Some owners also complain about weak rear springs, but in most cases those who often fully load the car have problems with them. The rest of the consumables, depending on the driving style and the quality of the roads, can withstand from 100 to 150,000 km. The cost of spare parts for the suspension for Citroën C4 in most cases is not great. And there are no problems with finding the necessary consumables. The steering system of the French car uses electro-hydraulic power steering. The note is considered quite reliable, unless on those cars that are operated in a very harsh climate, the amplifier pump may start leaking ahead of time. In some cases, hydraulic fluid leaks also occur due to a blockage in one of the hoses 
which leads to an increase in pressure in the system. Citroen C4 owners should definitely monitor the working fluid level in the power steering. Otherwise, there is great risk of premature failure of the electric pump. To the mark of 150-170 thousand kilometers, leaks of the internal oil seal are possible. The electronics board can bring problems to the same mark. As for the steering rack itself, with careful operation it can withstand up to 200,000 km. The braking system of Citroën C4 is reliable. Of course, some owners complain that, in their opinion, the service life of the rear brake pads is too low. But this is solely due to the specifics of the settings of the anti-lock braking system and the ESP system. With increased attention, it's worth considering those copies of Citroën C4 that are equipped with an electronic handbrake. With H, due to problems with wiring and connectors, it can stop functioning. As for the second generation Citroën C4, this car is hardly inferior to its competitors in the face of Ford Focus, Opel Astra or Renault Megane in terms of reliability and maintainability. With timely service, a French car will not deliver big problems. Of course, it's better to refuse from the 1.6 liter turbocharged engine. It turned out to be frankly raw and can bring a lot of unpleasant surprises on used cars. The proven naturally aspirated engines and classic manual transmission are ideal options for the Citroën C4 from the aftermarket. If you are the owner, then be sure to leave a comment about this car. Your review will definitely help others with the choice of a car.